It's easy to get nostalgic about the music we remember from our childhood. Every generation thinks that their music was pinnacle, but all music, even pop, is constantly evolving. We'll explore the different shapes of pop music that has taken over the years. Make sure to turn up your speakers and hit subscribe for more videos from the Ace. Let's get started! Pop music was created to appeal to as wide of an audience as possible. And some people believe it makes it a simple, a shallow type of music. But the ton of work goes into carefully crafting the perfect song that will both make people want to get up and dance. We also frequently hear themes of love, loss, and experiencing life, which are subjects tackled by all genres of music. Now that we've tackled pop music a bit, let's look at its roots. How did pop music start? The genre popular music originated in its modern form in 1950s. Deriving from rock and roll, the term pop song is first recorded as being used in 1926. According to Groove Music Online, the term pop music originated in Britain in the mid-1950s as a description for rock and roll and the new youth music styles that it influenced chamber Dictionary mentions the contemporary usage of the term pop art. Since the late 1950s, however, pop has had the special meaning of non-classical music. Some most well-known names in the history such as The Beatles and Michael Jackson. Some international pop artists Selena Gomez, Shawn Mendes, Michael Jackson, Britney Spears, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran, Imagine Dragons, 5 Seconds of Summer, Harry Styles, P.S., Paramore, Blackpink, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, and Justin Bieber are a few examples of internationally well-known music artists. They are well known for their excellent songs including Taylor Swift's Shake It Up, Michael Jackson's Baby Dream, Ariana Grande's Seven Rings, Blackpink's How You Like That, BTS Dynamite, Beyonce's Run the World and Bruno Mars Renee. Some well known musicians such as Bruno Mars and Olivia Rodrigo who both sang famous songs like Uptown Clock and Driver's License are half of the Background of Pop Music in the Philippines Pop music in the Philippines started as an adaptation or translation, if not complete imitation of Western hits. Starting in the 1970s, OPM or the original Philippine music became a term to describe the nation's pop scene centered in Manila. Other names for OPM have been P-pop and Pinoy bands. Pinoy pop or P-pop refers to a popular contemporary music in the Philippines originating from the OPM genre that emerged began in 1970s. The songs were often sung in Tagalog. It was a mix of rock, folk, and ballads. It did not focus on social class, and these Filipino lyrics sung to pop melodies resulted in highly singable songs with contemporary appeal. Some pop artists are the Philippines and their music. Sara Geronimo, born on July 25, 1988, being hailed as a pop star royalty as she does not only shine with stunning beauty but also with a world class talent. Most loved Sarah G's song is To Love You More. One of her first ever songs way back 2002. Jose Marichan, born on March 11, 1945 in Iloilo City, has recorded 14 hit albums and captured the heart of Filipinos with his famous Christmas song. One of his first ever songs is Christmas in Our Heart, with a breaking 14 million views in YouTube. Lea Salonga, born at February 22, 1971 in Armeta, Manila. She is known for her roles in musical theaters, for supplying the singing voices, of so Disney princesses and as a recording artist and television performer one of her famous songs is The Journey in 1993. Janelle Rosas Burai born on November 15, 1989 in Philly, Cameroon, She was the first Pinoy pop superstar grand winner. She was the lead singer of Trio Girl Group Lativa alongside Mary Chris Garcia and Aisha Santos following her career as a solo artist. One of her popular songs is Puso Midgar in 2017. 